Hey, hey people, what's up? It's your boy Expert Labs coming back at you live for a brand new video. And this time we're going to be talking about one of the favorite subjects of this channel. One of the um, most popular subjects of the house, which is Mr. Rainer Winkler, the Drachenlord himself. And today is going to be a real juicy video, guys. A real, real juicy video. Because we have had a bunch of news coming out in the Drachen game. Okay, guys, so stay tuned for this one. You definitely want to stay tuned for this one. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video, shall we? All right, guys, so here's the thing. All right, here's the thing. Mr. Drachenlord, okay, uh, until January 2023, was doing his thing in Emskirchen. Um, he's homeless at the moment, so he was hanging out mostly at some bakery. Okay, and he was jumping basically um, from one Airbnb to the other. Okay, he was going to hotels. We never really knew exactly how he financed all of this because um, he was basically, um, you know, there was like a little bit of controversy. Uh, surrounding the fact uh, if he was actually getting money from the government, from the local government, or if he was uh, financing all of this himself. And we don't know yet because the local government denies having helped him. But uh, there are some reasons to think that, it, that it's not true, that they might have actually financed his um, hotel stays. But uh, we know for sure that he never went to an actual homeless shelter, okay? And uh, he's been uh, talking to the Thursday company. He's been negotiating with the Thursday company to make his own little um, Netflix documentary. And uh, he has already signed contracts. And he, we do know he has gotten some money from that. Okay, not that much, but he does have um, received some money from his dealings with the Thursday company. And here's the kicker, okay. So in mid to late uh, January 2023, Mr. Drachenlord popped up where he popped up. He popped up in Berlin, okay, in the city of Berlin, the capital of Germany, which is quite far away from the cities that he frequents, okay, which are usually, uh, which is usually uh, Nuremberg, which is uh, cl quite close to Ermskirchen. But yeah, he popped up over there in Berlin. And we, um, we know he's there because he started live streaming in Berlin. So, mind you, Mr. Drachenlord's um, YouTube channels are down. They have been taken away by YouTube. Okay, he's been banned from YouTube. Um, it has been confirmed by uh, YouTube officials that he has been banned and that his ban is lifelong. Um, he doesn't really have uh, much social media presence except for some blog, except for an Odyssey channel and, um, of course, a TikTok channel. And what he uses the most is his blog, his own personal little blog and his Odyssey channel. And, um, uh, I mean, no, sorry, his blog and his TikTok channel. All right. And uh, he's, he's uploaded a few TikToks, but not too many. Uh, he's got less than 20 TikToks, I believe, as of now. And um, but he does use TikTok to live stream, and his live streams on TikTok do give him um, a certain amount of income because he does get donations on there. Okay, and what's happened is he's been live streaming all of a sudden, where in Berlin at famous landmarks, okay, near the wall, for example. He's gotten money on the uh, from his streams, you know, he's gotten, um, he's gotten like uh, guests on his streams and yeah he's uh he's been doing that and um on his streams he looks kind of nervous you know looking uh back and forth left and right because uh he seems uh, afraid of uh yeah somebody pop popping up in his stream somebody maybe uh making fun of him in real life i don't know and um he's also like um had actual fans of him run run into him in real life which he does appreciate so he seems to be doing pretty good in berlin you know he seems to be doing pretty good over there 
Uh, we don't know where he's staying exactly. It might be a hotel, an Airbnb. But um, there are a few theories about why he's in Berlin in the first place. Okay, the first theory is he's over there to shoot some content related to um, the Thursday company, related to his Netflix documentary. And there's another theory that he's actually over there in order to try and get his YouTube channel back by going to the YouTube uh, Germany headquarter headquarters and uh, negotiating with them. Yeah. But uh, it's, not, it's unclear why he's there in the first place. You know, it's quite unclear. It's unknown, which is a, a little bit strange. Also, uh, what I would like to point out is that um, he does not have, a, or at least does not seem to have any, um, any lawyers, you know, and he, do, he would need to get a lawyer if he actually wanted to, to dispute the case of his YouTube channel being closed. All right. Um, there's been a theory going on there which um, is saying that uh, he actually tries to get negative attention by posting in advance the spot where his live streams are going to be and by basically advertising advertising where he is um, on his live streams because he does show his location very easily and he, he talks about it very openly. And uh, this would be in order to um, to get some negative attention to show in his Netflix documentary. So some people have this uh, like uh, this um, this theory, okay. And um, also, what's uh, quite interesting is that he does have some dude, some uh, some journalist, who actually drives him around in Berlin, who uh, takes takes pictures of him and uh, drives him around. So yeah, that's quite interesting too. You know, we we don't really know why this guy is doing this. Could be doing it for money. You know, maybe um, he wants to earn money by taking pictures of uh, the Drachenlord. Who knows? And then there's also another thing, which is that uh, Mr. Drachenlord is still active on some smut site, on some uh, swingers website in Germany, and uh, he's writing over there. And he's been talking to some to some women, and of course many of them turn out to be fakes, right? And one of the fakes that he's been talking to actually managed to download some private files of him uh, that were stored in some cloud drive, and uh, then she basically, uh, I mean him, okay, because it turns out that fake was was or was related to a famous hater called Mimon Baraka. Um, and uh, then Mimon Baraka like uh, basically released uh, these uh, private files of Mr. Drachenlords who turn out to be um, like um, writings of him. And these writings are quite compromising, are quite, um, you know, quite spicy because they are actually, uh, you know, adult stories. Um, but these adult stories have the particularity of containing minors, okay, which is actually quite bad because in Germany, if you uh, produce um, basically a spicy material containing minors, even if it's in the written form, okay, then it's um, illegal. But what's illegal is not producing it, it's actually sharing it with other people. So basically uh, some haters in the Drachen game have been trying to basically blame uh, Drachenlord uh, for basically um, spreading... Um, you know, spreading uh, material that is actually illegal. And there's been a little back and forth going on. Mr. Rana Victor, uh, Mr. Handlord, of course, defended himself. At first he said it's not true. And then he said uh, that part of it was not true and so on and so forth. Um, obviously, um, as of now, he doesn't really have any legal risk as he was not actually sharing the material. He was keeping it for him. But then it turns out that the people who actually shared the material could be the ones in trouble then. Which, you know, is a huge uh, mess, basically. It's a huge, um, like, uh, it's, a, it's a huge riddle, basically, because, um, yeah, it's a little bit, you know, tricky to judge something like this. Because what if you write some story and you re release it and then somebody downloads your story and then amends it to make it so that uh, minors are involved and then just start spreading it around and then you are you're the one who has problems for it you know like 
how do you even judge um, written material for being illegal if it's not doxing or, you know, not some kind of uh, basically speech advocating for violence. Who knows, you know, who knows really. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit tricky to judge that kind of subject. And uh, yeah, I don't really have anything to say about that because uh, it's none of my, I mean, yeah, I don't think I should be, uh, I should be basically getting mixed up in that kind of thing. So yeah, it's, uh, it's quite tricky, this situation, but I don't think that much will come from that because it's so tricky to judge. And um, yeah, I, um, all I can say is uh, let's see what, what happens, okay? By the way, don't you think that Mr. Drachenlord looks kind of like Bam Margera on this picture? I think he, he kind of looks like Bam Margera a little bit. At least the hair and the top of the, the head, you know. All right, guys, that's all I have to say for today. If you made it until here, then uh, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. OK, and hit that bell icon so you get informed of all the latest news. This was, I mean, probably the crunchiest, spiciest, dankest news when it comes to Drachenlord for um, this month, at least. And that's it. I'm out, guys.